It is very difficult for me to understand how anyone would uh, be able to think about not using an EMR and be in medical field. I think that question to me is out of the picture. We've been uh, serving clients almost for 12 years. Uh, that's the only software that I actually implemented. I went to a lot of other offices, then we converted them to uh, Cerner. We wanted to make sure that support and ongoing development on the software were provided to us. And then if you are part of our network, either you are a primary care, either you are a surgeon, cardiologist, nephrologist, podiatrist, you actually have only one chart. So I, I wouldn't be able to do that on my own if I didn't have Cerner behind that project. As a physician, my main interest and my main focus is taking care of patients. And uh, to be able to do that, then I need somebody else to run the practice for me. And we found United Medical to be a very effective organization in helping private practitioners accomplish that. What we are able to provide for them is, okay, I don't want you to worry about your billing. I don't want you to worry about your ICD-10, ICD-50. I want you to worry about medicine. But what you need to know is that it's taken care of. Medicine has become a business. And in order to survive, you have to know how to um, spend less and make more. They are not trying to tell me how to practice medicine. They just want to make me more efficient in doing it. If there's a patient or a private primary care who's having chest pain and they want to refer them to us, we can actually have the patient come to us without having the uh, medical record faxed to us. So we can look at it online. So the DIN is the Delaware Health Information Network that connects all the major hospitals and all the major labs in Delaware into one centralized data bank. It was a boost of confidence for United Medical because it was a big investment that Cerner was making in us uh, for them to spend the time and the money and to want to do this project because we wanted to do the project. With the Cerner interface, now those results are coming directly into the provider's inbox and once the provider signs off, it's showing that, that they've signed off in the flow sheet so it's not just a scanned image. The last EMR I had was strictly mine. I mean, I had to pay for monthly maintenance and all that stuff and upgrades, and the upgrades were horrendous. The upgrades were ten and $15,000. We are not server-based. We are uh, through ASP, which is remote hosted by Cerner. And the system that I have is uh, the most current EMR system at any given point. ASP is really the only way to, to do an EMR as far as having the patient data wherever you want, whether it's on your iPhone or your iPad at your home, when you're traveling, it has to be ASP. The ability to get our records from the hospitals is, is the main key. If someone is in there, has had testing done, uh, our ability to get that, especially cath reports, etc., are important for us to have. If it's been a busy day and I can't finish everything here in the office, I can go home and I can finish from home. I want to have an EMR that actually can speak to a primary care physician, a cardiologist, a surgeon or wherever I need to or hospital and then this is what I what I can have from Cerner. I can uh, understand the anxiety. What I can tell them is that life will be a lot easier once they have an EMR. Just uh, dive in, take a jump and they will be fine. They will be more than fine. <laughs>